I'm Brian Collins, your friendly real estate instructor. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about what happens after you get done with your class. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look here at your student dashboard. Okay. Okay. So with your student dashboard um, here, this is your, your home here. That's going to show you all of your classes that you completed. So you should be hopefully um, at the point where all three of these circles are completed because you have finished all three of your certificates, which is really, really fantastic. And if you need a copy of them, you can get them right here at your certificates um, page. Uh, but what we want to talk about is your state exam and tools. Here's a video tutorial about your um, application, state application that you can watch. This will help guide you through the state application process. Um, here's some application instructions if you want something written that you can follow along. But what we really want to talk about is your state exam um, prep. This is the really important part. This is going to be the really important thing that um, you're going to need quite a bit of, of time with. Um, which is great because you have time because uh, your application is probably going to take you, what, at least six to eight weeks for them to process and get you an exam date. So you have time. This is why it's very, very important for you to finish your certificates as soon as possible so that you can submit your application and start that process. So let's talk about the state exam prep material. Um, you got some tips and tricks here that you can, um, how to study there's some videos here. Um, there's, you know, some uh, written stuff here as well. Taking the exam instructions, right? So this is your actual, when you take your exam or whatever, what you're going to need there. So um, you can get more um, from the um, DRE office here. There's all of this stuff that you can read here. Um, so that's dre.ca.gov slash examinees slash taking exam. Okay. But what we really want to get into here is the exam practice tests. So now when you're taking the exam here, you have um, options to customize your exam. And this is really important because right at the beginning, you probably don't need to sit for three hours and try to take an exam. It's going to be exhausting. It's going to be overwhelming. Um, and that's not really going to help you learn. So um, the first thing that you should definitely do is practice with a 50, um, a 50 question exam, which is a one hour exam. Um, and then you have the option of all these different categories here. Every single piece of information is broken into one of these seven categories. Um, property ownership, land use and controls, laws of agency and fiduciary duties, property valuation, financial analysis, financing, transfer of property, practice of real estate and disclosures, and contract. And then you can see this percentage here. This is the percentage of the questions that can fall on your exam. So... Property ownership and land use controls and regulations, only 15% of your total exam will be about those questions. Financing, only 9% of your exam will be those. So transfer property, only 8% of your property uh, of your exam will be these, um, will be in this category. However, practice of real estate and disclosures look at 25%. It's a big one. Agency laws, 17. You got a 15, 14, and a 12 for contracts. So this is really important that you use, that you utilize these. And what's going to happen is every time you take an exam, um, you're going to get one of these logs. Um, your exam logs are going to track every time that you've taken a real estate exam, what your score was, pass or fail. And you can even down, you can do look at a score information and look at, it will tell you a breakdown. There was four questions about contracts and I didn't answer any of them. Transfer property, I answered two of four, so I did 50%. So you can tell exactly what category you are struggling in. So that way, when you keep coming back and you keep going to your practice exams, check your last log, figure out what you're doing. Say, hey, look, I did terrible in um, property valuation and transfer. So I'm going to take all of these. I'm going to uncheck these, right? And I'm just going to take a one-hour exam just of property valuation and property of uh, transfer of property questions. This is really going to hone in on my, my skills that I was lacking in and provide myself with more information about this, the information that I, that I really need to study. Um, if I did really well, uh, you know, on some of the other exam, I, I may not need a bunch of review constantly. And so every time I take a, a question, uh, take a test, 
I'm going to come in here. I'm going to customize my exam with what my low points are from my last exam and how much time do I have to commit? Do I have an hour, two hours, or do I have three hours to commit to this practice exam? And then I'm going to hit take exam and it's going to load up that thing. And I'm going to go through it and I'm going to take, I'm going to answer the questions and I'm going to take the exam. Um, you should be doing these practice exams every chance you possibly can. If you have a free hour, take it. If you have a free half hour, take one and do as much as you possibly can and then end it. Um, every minute, you you should have nightmares about these exams because you've been taking them so much. Um, you should be fully immersed in them. Um, with that said, I know you don't have a ton of time. You have to go to work and you have to go to the bank and you have to go grocery shopping. You have to do all of these different things. Some things that you can really do to help you out is flashcards. Now, all of these flashcards here, you can see there's 197 terms in this set of flashcards. Um, you can see here the type money market. If you click on it, it will say a market condition in which loan funds are scarce and interest rates and discount points are high. Right now, we are in a tight money market because these things are exactly right. Um, but what you want to do is like, oh, let's... Oh, Uh, these ones, I guess you cannot print out. Um, what you can do, though, is under your courses. Go back to my courses. Let's say go into real estate finance. If you go all the way to the bottom right here, resources. Here's flashcards. And then you can see in here, there's 492 flashcards. If you click on this little printer icon, it's going to open up a PDF version of all of these flashcards. So here's all the fronts. And then on the, here's all the backs and then here's all the fronts and here's all the backs. So if you print these two sided, you will have a full set of flashcards for real estate finance. Cut these up, print them two sided, cut them up, rubber band them together, throw them in your purse, handwrite them. Doesn't really matter. Whatever, how, whatever you want to do. Some people will take these, they'll send the PDF to Staples. Staples will print them and laminate them and put them on a ring binder, you know, thing and make, they'll make it really good. But keep these flashcards with you so that when you're not sitting in front of uh, in front of your computer or on your phone or whatever, and you're not able to take a practice exam, you at least have something that you can study in the meantime to kill five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever. You can hand them to somebody in the car and say, hey, quiz me on these words. Let me see if I can get them right. And then that person, you know what I mean? Like you need to dedicate some time and you've got about six to eight weeks, maybe even a little bit longer. Um, to get that to get that stuff studied because this is the stuff that you is really important that you have to commit to memory. Um, during the state exam, there is no open book, open note process. Um, you do not have um, the luxury of being able to look at stuff like that. So I highly, highly recommend printing out flashcards and keeping those on you at all times. And then at every minute, every minute that you have, take a practice exam Take one every night, take one every morning, take one for on your lunch break. Um, you know, when you get home for take one before dinner and take one after dinner. This is going to help you the most. This is going to be your your super lifeline to passing your state exam on the first try. I know it's a lot, but thanks for listening. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, I wish you nothing but the best. And of course, this won't be the last time you hear from me. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.